If you've been trying to tap more into your feminine energy and for some reason you feel like you're struggling, you're not sure why it's so difficult for you, then I hope this video brings you some clarity. Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Jills and I talk about things like feminine energy, self-improvement, and wellness for women. So if that's something you want to learn more about, you should definitely hit that red subscribe button below as well as the notifications bell so you don't miss when I put out any new videos. So in today's video, I wanted to share some really big reasons and just like some really common reasons for why women tend to struggle with connecting to their feminine side because I feel like it's just a few main things that hold people back. So let's get into it. So one of the biggest reasons for struggling to connect with our feminine is because of past conditioning. And I think that this is by far one of the most common reasons because we grew up, we came to be a woman in a masculine oriented world. And those typical masculine energy traits like career achievement and extreme athleticism and competition and all that type of outward action energy that stuff is highly rewarded and highly praised in our society today. And more of those typical feminine energy traits like love, compassion, nurturing, intuition, creativity, flow, these things are not as praised. So what this inherently does is it teaches young women that they need to live more and more in their masculine and shut down more and more of their feminine in order to fit in, in order to be respected and rewarded and appreciated and loved. So when we do this and we grow up in this kind of society, we naturally just step more and more into our masculine. But if you are an innately feminine woman, which not all women are and that's totally cool, but if you are an innately feminine woman, then all this will do is make you feel totally burnt out, stressed out, uninspired, unfulfilled, and unsatisfied in your life. So when you do decide you want to tap more into your feminine energy, this isn't an easy thing to do because your brain has been programmed in a certain way and that's something that you can't just shift overnight. Your brain is still wired to see your masculine side of you as good or more valuable and your feminine side of you as bad or less valuable. And so you can do all the things. You can start leaning back and receiving more. You can start tapping more into your creativity. You can start tapping more into your intuition and connecting more with your heart. You can start expressing your emotions more freely. You can start wearing more feminine clothing and putting more time and energy into making yourself feel beautiful every day. And these things will definitely help you. But at the end of the day, if you feel like these things are in some way inferior, then you will never be able to fully embrace the beauty of what feminine energy has to offer. Even if you feel like you've moved past that, maybe you have at a conscious level, you totally understand how powerful and amazing your feminine side can be. But those deep rooted subconscious beliefs, they're still there and they're still holding you back. And this one is hard because those beliefs don't just magically go away overnight. And truly the only way that you can work past this is by having consistent supportive thoughts of the new beliefs that you want to create and a lot of patience. And even better if you have people around you like friends, family, romantic partners who also see the value in the feminine, then that will also really help. Over time, you will start to let these old beliefs go. It just takes time and consistency. So keep going. Now with that said, because we live in a more masculine oriented world, if you want to be in your feminine and live a more feminine life, then you have to be okay doing things a bit different. Now, I will say there is this huge surge of women trying to understand feminine energy and come back to themselves. Feminine energy and femininity in general has just been this huge trend lately, but I don't, I don't think it's just a trend. I think it's something that's here to stay. But with that said, it's still not that common yet to see a woman fully owning and embracing her feminine. It definitely exists, but what I mean is that it's not yet the norm. It's not yet mainstream. And it's human nature for us to want to be like other people in our community. That feels safe to us. But sometimes tapping into our feminine energy or doing other things that make us feel our best, whatever it is, sometimes that means doing things differently from others. And you have to start getting comfortable with that. So even though this whole feminine energy stuff is growing, it's becoming a lot more common, it's still not mainstream. There are still tons of people who don't understand it. There are still tons of people who don't see the value in it. But at the end of the day, it's your life and you have to prioritize the things that make you feel good and not let other people's opinions or beliefs stop you from moving forward and stepping into the woman that you wanna be. Now this comes easier for some than others for sure, 
But I will say something that definitely helps is finding other women who are also on the same journey as you, who are also trying to tap more into their feminine or who are already very successful at this because then that makes this more normal for you. And so there's less stress about being different. And if you don't have that in real life, you're always welcome to join this growing online community right here. Now, in the beginning, I mentioned past conditioning, and that's such a big reason for why we struggle to embrace our feminine. But I also wanted to bring up past experiences. And you could say that the two go hand in hand because what you experience in the past conditions you in a way, but they tend to have different root causes. So I wanted to separate it out. So here's the thing. It can be very hard to fully embrace your feminine and relax into that if you feel unsafe or unstable in any way or if you feel like you need to be really guarded or cautious and oftentimes we can feel this way if the masculine energy in our life was weak or wounded or unhealthy in some way so for example if you grew up without a healthy, strong, masculine father figure, or if that relationship was wounded in some way, then fully stepping into your feminine might feel unsafe to you because in the past, masculine energy was unsafe or unstable or absent and that made you feel vulnerable. And so that past experience is shaping how you show up in the world today. Or maybe you just had a really not so great romantic experience. Maybe you dated someone who was not a healthy masculine man. For example, I'm just making up examples here, but maybe he was controlling. Maybe he, maybe you felt like you could never trust him. Maybe he just really hurt you in some way. When you have bad past experiences with masculine energy in whatever form, you will instinctually naturally want to step more into your own masculine. You will put on your own masculine shield to protect you because nobody wants to get hurt and that usually feels safer. But past experiences don't have to still negatively influence you today. If you feel like you have not healed these relationships and by healed, I mean simply coming to peace with them, then they are likely still affecting you. Your past never ever has to dictate your future, but it will keep doing just that if you stay stuck replaying this certain narrative in your head. Just because masculine energy wasn't that great in the past, it doesn't mean that that is your future. Another thing that's really holding women back, and this might sound really silly, but just hear me out, when they're trying to embrace more of their feminine energy, they're using their logical brain too much. As a generality, masculine energy uses more practicality and logic to help guide them, but the feminine energy uses more of their intuition, more of their connection to their heart and their body to guide them. And we all have masculine and feminine energy within us and that's what makes us such well-rounded individuals but you can't logic your way into feminine energy you have to feel it what i mean by this is you can do all the things you can go through the motions you can act in a way that is more congruent with feminine energy but feminine energy is an energy it's a feeling and the only way you can harness that is by tapping more into here and lesson to hear. The vast majority of women are already innately feminine beings, meaning that it's already there. It already exists within you. All you're doing is simply reconnecting to the side of you again. This point is very hard to put into words, but the short way to put it is instead of thinking and doing all the things that you feel like you're supposed to be doing, think about how you're feeling. Think about what makes your heart feel good, like deep down. What makes you feel joy? What makes you feel love? What makes you feel connected to something greater than yourself? Follow those feelings and come back to your heart. You don't have to overthink it. If you are struggling with your feminine energy, then that might also be because you feel like there is only one right way to do it. Like I said earlier, feminine energy is becoming so much more popular and that is such a great thing. And there are tons of women who are talking about it now, you know, like me, like on YouTube or whatever. But I think some women who are totally disconnected from their feminine side, they're trying to come back to themselves again in that way. They look at these people like a guide and they think, I wanna be feminine, so I need to do everything that she does. I need to do it just like her. Or if I wanna be more feminine, I need to dress more like she does. Or I need to be softer like she is. And sometimes what you see in others inspires you because you know that that will feel good to you too. You know that you want that too but you are also your own individual being. You have your own unique personality, your own unique life, and therefore everyone will have their own unique approach to feminine energy. A lot of people who talk about feminine energy on the internet, or at least people who I have seen, 
tend to be extremely ultra feminine, you know, with the dresses and makeup and staying at home, being like a housewife and things like that and talking about their role as a wife. And I think that that is so beautiful. And honestly, I resonate with, with a lot of that, but you can still totally be a tomboy and have strong feminine energy. You can hate pink and have strong feminine energy. You can be super career focused and not be thinking about a relationship right now or not ever wanting kids or anything like that. And and still have strong feminine energy. There's not only one right way to do it. Take those main themes and those bits and pieces that inspire you and that resonate with you, but don't be afraid to still own who you are and put your own spin on it. You don't need to be a replica. If everyone was exactly the same, this world would be very boring. And lastly, it's really important to be aware of how you're viewing other feminine women because if you have judgments toward other feminine women, then that is a surefire way to never feel comfortable in your own femininity yourself. If you see a feminine woman and on the inside, you're like, oh, she's beautiful, but she's probably not that smart or, oh, she seems so fun and feminine, but she's probably just doing it for attention or to try to get a boyfriend or whatever it is. If you have these judgments toward other women when you see them in their feminine, then you will always judge yourself in the same way too. It's always the same. Whatever you think about others and how you view others is truly just a reflection of your own inner world. Meaning that if you see a feminine woman and automatically assume that she lacks intelligence, you won't feel fully comfortable embracing your feminine side because to you, that will mean that you are not smart or that you are at least presenting yourself in an unintelligent way. So again, the way you judge others is the way you judge yourself and you will never be able to fully tap into your feminine energy if you judge yourself for being feminine. So be honest with yourself, do you do this? Because if you're judging others, all it's doing is holding you back. These are some themes that I really notice around feminine energy and why some women can't seem to fully tap into their feminine. So if you found this video helpful, please hit that like button. It really does help me out as a creator and helps me to share the messages that I'm trying to share. And you should absolutely subscribe below if you haven't already and join this wonderful community. We would love to have you. If you like this video, you'll probably also like these videos right here. So you should absolutely go check them out. Love you guys. And I will see you next time. Bye.